directed and the, and the president's for it to some some of the patent laws have failed like Schroeder Moore Patent Act but now others have gotten through where sure they they're they're just gutting the US patent system and I think we're being raided by the international corporations I think China's being raided by the international corporations and I'm at the international corporations and I'm at the partnership you see forming with the, with the international corporations and the Chinese military industrial complex I'm sure there's a lot of really good Chinese businessmen but the biggest business in China is their military and it's absolutely been reported on and proven totally conclusively that the Chinese military runs most of the businesses in China. I don't know if you're aware of that, but that's probably the international question. Um, just a few more questions. Surely. Have members of the community expressed concern over some of the goods coming in from China, both from U.S. corporations and Chinese military corporations, being slave goods. We've got, we have had, I think, two residents in our community who have voiced a concern over that that same situation that you're alluding to, um, and they made their comments known at the city council meeting. Out at Long Beach, most people at the base were against giving them our only deep water port, mm -hmm. and then here, uh, inland in the uh, high mountain area. It seems like people really want more jobs and more opportunities, so it seems like they're willing to kind of, since the big corporations and the federal government turn a blind eye, maybe they're just saying, let's just live. How large is the planned and under construction uh, mall complex? You say it was it's going on, to be a million square feet? It's a, it's a 50 acre project, and uh, it's a 50 acre project with one million square feet. Hmm. Now that's 20 buildings, 50,000 square feet. You said you had gone out to see that pad? Yes, right down the road. Right down the road. Um, you have to pick your 20 of those if you can. I mean, that's a million square feet is a lot of square feet. So to them, it's not good in their money manipulation game to even have a very successful America. It seems like in some quarters they want to deindustrialize and make it service oriented. That's an interesting comment. I hadn't thought much about that from that perspective. Well, think about it. They hold more stock, as you would say, in the third world. And they don't have that terrible thing called representative democracy there. And they've got thugs that run the places that are more than willing. And they don't have that pesky media there to ever, you know, peek into things. So if they can lower our stock value in industrialization as a whole as a country, as a, say as a country as a company, then they can, in the aggregate, make themselves the rulers of us all. Good point. Well, thanks a lot, sir. No, you're welcome. Appreciate you're welcome. you. If you want to understand how this is all happening and you want to put a stop to it, you have to recognize the elitists that control the trilateralist system. It's a system where whole human populations are supposed to be sold on the chopping block, on the world auction. It's a place where, in the excuse of pragmatism and the future, they really revert to an old system known as slavery. Yes, your leaders are all bought and paid for, and they're using China. They're using the communist thug state of China as the front lines, as the vanguard of the New World Order. They are deindustrializing our nation. They are transferring the production facilities overseas where they have it fully under IMF and World Bank control. And until you realize exactly what the CFR is, that's the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission set up by David Rockefeller in 1973, and the Bilderbergers in Europe, you will not understand the secret government. You will not be able to honestly oppose the conspiracy, the program of slavery. What is the CFR? It is the House of the secret government here in the U.S. The Trilateral Commission is the Senate here in America, and the Bilderbergers are the criminal headquarters of the entire program. They control all of your major electronic media, all of your major print media, all of the editors, all of the senior correspondents. They control your senators. They control your National Security Council, the White House staff. They control all the heads of major top 20 industry and all of the deans and top professors at your major universities. You put this all together, you have a picture of slavery, and then you understand what's going on with China. A billion and a quarter slaves plus being leveraged. You see the elitist families. You see their children and grandchildren moving forward. You see the Chinese at Long Beach bringing in their arms. Then you find out that they now have both ends of the Panama Canal that Jimmy Carter gave up, one of the founders of the Trilateral Commission with David Rockefeller. 
It is a picture of bringing America to its knees because there can be no strong nations in this system. They must all be under one centralized control. And what does it mean every time? Death and slavery. Those are Chinese children in slave labor camps. CIA hearings in the Senate. Yes, the Central Intelligence Agency brings in the cocaine and heroin and all your narcotics. It is out of control. And there you have it. The container facilities at Long Beach where the slave goods are being brought in by Costco to all your major stores. And if you speak out against it, There'll be a visit to your house by these fellas. Yes, the Global Love Cops, the MJTF. If we allow this type of treason to continue, we're going to pay the price. If we buy these slave goods, it is going to come back on us, and it's already coming back on us today. They think of us all as absolute abject slaves. The only way to avert the police state that is coming on full bore is to illuminate, to put light on who really controls the system. Because a slave doesn't even know who rules them. Information is the key. We're doing a story for KJFK Radio and film. Uh -huh. And I'm not going hiking. I'll probably only be here about an hour, but I still need to pay. Uh -huh. How much is it? $20. $20. Radio. Public television in uh, Austin, Texas. Okay, leave. I can? Go ahead. Thanks. Cool. When we got to the Grand Canyon, it was so majestic that I almost forgot what we were there to do. We were there to expose the international takeover of our parklands under the guise of environmentalism. It was so majestic, so expansive. And it brought back childhood memories of when I had been there with my parents. That made me only want to fight more. I'm standing here in northern Arizona overlooking the beautiful Grand Canyon, one of America's most beautiful treasures. And it's very distressing to me and other patriots and people that truly do care about the environment in America that Bill Clinton, with his executive order, January 19, 1996, number 12,986, began the precedent to sign over our national treasures to international control. Yes, this is an international biosphere and world heritage site. And guess who controls those? The United Nations. The United Nations is nothing more than a front group for international banks based in Europe and in America. They care nothing about the environment. They care about using it as an excuse to tell you how you can use the environment, to get you used to listening to what they say and what you can do and what you can use. I'm sure you all have all heard they're planning to restrict cars to the Grand Canyon and bring buses in quite soon. Well, I'm here during peak season at the end of the summer, and I don't see any problem with Americans coming to the Grand Canyon. They're paying exorbitant prices of $20 a car. Wake up and understand that large corporations think in a long-term game. They understand that if they can restrict use to this place and get international control in here, then 10, 20 years down the road, they can start construction and building, which they're already doing, by the way. So we are for real conservation, but we are against organized crime cliques that call themselves international bankers and elite corporations coming in and buying off your politicians like Bill Clinton, who is an incredible traitor to this country, who then signs over promptly our rights to use and to maintain our natural wonders. There's a lot of money in controlling these places. A lot of people come and visit them. Just cut through their lies, and it's sterling simple exactly what's happening. Now let's go talk to some park rangers and other individuals, perhaps some of the tourists here, and see if they've even heard of this terrible crime that's being committed against the American people, this giant land grab. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm conducting a scientific experiment. I want to ask you all if you all know about executive order signed January 19, 1996 by President Bill Clinton, number 12,986, which designated this as a World Heritage Site under UNESCO, a corporation of the United Nations. None of you heard about this in the mainstream media. None of you heard about it. Nobody's heard about this, have you? Well, they had... They, they, they took down the signs in most parks because there was a furor about three days after they put up the United Nations signs. 
No one's heard about it, huh? Well, see, that's how 